Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about God provides. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of God provides is Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. It says, Therefore I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor yet for your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothing? See the birds of the sky, that they don't sow, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you of much more value than they? Which of you by being anxious, can add one moment to his lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil, neither do they spin, yet I tell you that even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today exists and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, won't he much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore don't be anxious, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? Or, with what will we be clothed? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore don't be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Each day's own evil is sufficient. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of God provides is found in Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31. It says, Aren't two sparrows sold for an Asarian coin? Not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Therefore don't be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 through 6. It reads, Elijah the Tishbite, who was one of the settlers of Gilead, said to Ahab, As Yahweh, the God of Israel, lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Then Yahweh's word came to him, saying, Go away from here, turn eastward, and hide yourself by the brook Cherith, that is before the Jordan. You shall drink from the brook. I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to Yahweh's word, for he went and lived by the brook Cherith that is before the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Passage number 4. This is from Acts chapter 17, verses 25 through 28. The scripture says, He isn't served by men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he himself gives to all life and breath and all things. He made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the surface of the earth, having determined appointed seasons and the boundaries of their dwellings, that they should seek the Lord, if perhaps they might reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live, move, and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 19 through 23. The Bible says, My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brothers who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of God provides, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on God provides. Passage number 6 is from Psalm chapter 145, verses 13 through 16. It says, Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all generations. Yahweh is faithful in all his words, and loving in all his deeds. Yahweh upholds all who fall, 
and raises up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait for you. You give them their food in due season. You open your hand, and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Psalm chapter 121, verses 3 through 8. The Bible says, He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Yahweh is your keeper. Yahweh is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Yahweh will keep you from all evil. He will keep your soul. Yahweh will keep your going out and your coming in, from this time forward, and forevermore. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of God provides is from Genesis chapter 22, verses 11 through 14. It reads, Yahweh's angel called to him out of the sky, and said, Abraham, Abraham. He said, Here I am. He said, Don't lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Abraham lifted up his eyes, and looked, and saw that behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. Abraham went and took the ram, and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Abraham called the name of that place, Yahweh will provide. As it is said to this day, on Yahweh's mountain, it will be provided. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Job chapter 38, verses 39 through 41. The passage states, Can you hunt the prey for the lioness, or satisfy the appetite of the young lions, when they crouch in their dens, and lie in wait in the thicket? Who provides for the raven his prey, when his young ones cry to God, and wander for lack of food? Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of God provides is from Exodus chapter 16, verses 11 through 18. It says, Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, At evening you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am Yahweh your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay around the camp. When the dew that lay had gone, behold, on the surface of the wilderness was a small round thing, small as the frost on the ground. When the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they didn't know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread which Yahweh has given you to eat. This is the thing which Yahweh has commanded, Gather of it everyone according to his eating, and omer a head, according to the number of your persons, you shall take it, every man for those who are in his tent. The children of Israel did so, and some gathered more, some less. When they measured it with an omer, he who gathered much had nothing over, and he who gathered little had no lack. They each gathered according to his eating. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of God provides. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to God provides and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.